Welcome to Date with Danu. Today on the show, we are going back in time with some great people who have entertained us for years. And as my first guest on the show, I have someone who has a captivating personality. I'm happy to have the great Noeline Hunter. I'm going to introduce myself as a singer and a television presenter and also an educationist because I, uh, well, I t educate people in English and English pronunciation and also presentation skills. So, well, I'm kind of rolled into one, all those kind of things rolled into one. So, I'm Nolly. Well, I'm so happy to be here on a date with Danu and to meet him on a date. <laughs> yeah, it's wonderful. Danu, well, what can I say about him? He's, he's a great presenter. And more than that, I think he also entertains people very much. And I'm really looking forward to being on the show with him because it's great to be with him and it's also wonderful to have a chat with him. So, I'm looking forward to being with Danu. Welcome to the show and with me I have Noeline. Thank you for joining me. Hi Danu, it's wonderful to be here. <laughs> and I must say a hello to your viewers as well. Hi everyone, <laughs> I'm glad you've joined me and Danu for a date with Danu. Thank you. So Noeline, you have been, you are a veteran in uh, TV and I was telling these guys before we started, I was like, no mucking up during this time. <laughs> uh, so uh, tell us a little bit about uh, what's keeping you busy these days. Well, actually, um, I'm uh, doing a lot of education. Work. Okay. Well, I, I'm, I'm training people in pr English pronunciation, right. uh, presentation skills, television presentation, spoken English, any kinds of English. Right, yes. <laughs> any <laughs> kinds of English. You know, when it comes to uh, spoken English or even presentation skills, they always say it's only for those who would like to step into media or for anyone who's in the front line of entertainment. Mm -hmm. But is it the case or is it something that anyone can put to good use even in their day-to-day -day life? Absolutely, absolutely. There are so many people who just want to learn spoken English because they don't, they, they feel that they can't communicate enough. Mm. So there are people even from the villages who call me and, and they, well, uh, earlier I was uh, training them, you know, personally, personally yeah. but now I train them online mm. uh, because of the COVID-19 situation. But uh, I used to have people coming all the way from Anuradhapura mm. for training. They come and they, they, well, they hire a room and they stay over then they come for the class and then they go back home. Okay. So that's how dedicated they are. Wow. You know, it also comes with like communication. You know, you should just speak as much as you can. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. And lots of our, uh, Sri Lankans tend to, they have brilliant spellings though. But when it comes to talking, there's always a bit of a exactly, shy yes. issue that comes in the... One of the main issues is the pronunciation. Mm. Because... Uh, you know, Sri Lankans, they have a different type of pronunciation. This is because, as I think I've discussed yeah. this with you before, because the Sri Lan the Sinhala language is a phonetic language. Mm. So what you see is what you say. Right. Unlike in English, you yeah. know, there are so many uh, words that they, it seems the same, the spelling looks the same, but it's different, like bat and put. Mm. It's U-T and U-T, but yeah. the first consonants are different. Correct. So, uh, you know, and those are, those are just simple words. There are other words that, you know, like bread and read. Mm. They are bo both spelled the same way, except there's a B in front of that. So, that's the difficulty with English pronunciation. See, I've <laughs> never thought of it these ways. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, now, with Noeline, I wanted to sort of have people on the show who will uh, know about Noeline and who have had some great times on stage and as our second guest on the show we have someone who's coming in on the set for the second time uh, last time was a lot of fun last time he was the only man with the two ladies this mm -hmm. time we just broke that I'm happy to have uh, uh, the very charming Sohan <laughs> Hi, I'm Sohan, leader of Sohan and the Experiments, 
been in the music scene for quite some time. I'm excited for doing the show with Danu. Day trip with Danu is a very interesting program. I have been on this before, and uh, but you got to be a little careful as to what you tell because he asks a lot of searching questions. But I'm ready for him. Danu uh, is not an easy guy to work with because he he can be pretty embarrassing at times. But if he tries to embarrass me or contradict me or anything like that, I have lots of things about him which I'm going to tell on this show. Welcome back to the show, and with us we have a Sohan. Sohan, hi. This uh, I must say you have made an attempt this time around. I can see some matching combo. I was under. We didn't really ah, color really? coordinate. It just happened. It just happened. I was under instructions. Oh wow! <laughs> Strict instructions. Yes. <laughs> uh, I must say, uh, Sohan had a, a rough past few months. Um, <laughs> actually, when I was recording with him last time for date with Danu, uh, everything was fine. And on the day I aired the show. Yes. Uh, uh, you lost your wife, and I'm so very sorry. Mm. And uh, we didn't know about it when the show was airing, and I was I got to know the next day. Um, how have you been? Okay, I've survived, and still trying to cope with that loss. Yeah. But I'm a bit disappointed today because you never said captivating, Sohan. You used all this stuff for Noel. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I said charming. Char I mean, just charming is just another right. C word. Yeah. yeah. Charming, Ooh, captivating. captivating. Yeah. Okay, fair you enough. can't always be. Right. Yeah. Today you need to share the spot with <laughs> others a little bit. Last time it was the only little cockadoodle do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Sohan, you date back with Noeline in terms of performance and. Did you ever flirt with Noeline? Well, a uh, little bit, but she uh, never encouraged that. <laughs> 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 but how how long has it been since you since you all have known each other? Uh, donkey's years. Uh, yeah. when I, think, I think uh, perhaps uh, in about twenty five thirty years. Yeah, yeah. Don't uh, go too far back, Noni, because you know our age. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I I was not existing when you all met. So let's start <laughs> from there. When did you all when when did you all meet or how did you all meet? I think uh, I, I I think I, uh, you I, were in. I think uh, well, the first time I met Suhan was. Yeah. Uh, when we were performing at uh, Salinko, yeah, and uh, you know our mm. manager was Mr. Masi Pereira. I right. was with the experiment, right. the original <laughs> experiments, not right. nothing not to do with them. Not Sohan and the experiments. No. Yeah, I'm the duplicate. Yeah, yeah. You are, he so has been experimenting for the longest time. I don't know what he's experimenting though. <laughs> yeah. So uh, Sohan, actually, I think he. Um, I, did you get the name from Uncle Masi? Yes, yes, I got it from him yeah, and, and added right. the word Sohan. So that's the first time I met Sohan. That would have been in the early 70s, I think. <laughs> <laughs> he said, yeah, I got the name from him and I added the name Sohan. <laughs> 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 uh, okay, and do you all remember the first gig that you all performed? Mm. There were so many, but the yeah. thing is, Noeline at that time was sort of unapproachable. Yeah, yeah. I, I couldn't, you know, she, she used to you know, be <laughs> high up on that pedestal, so it took <laughs> years for me to get to say hi, yeah. Noeline. Yeah. Actually, I'm, I'm so guilty of being on a pedestal and being <laughs> arrogant, and I regret that so much. It's yeah. just that, you know, I came to know the Lord Jesus, and, and now I'm fine. Yeah. I, I but what's amazing is that you speak about it, and people who didn't, yeah. who, now they will know who you are. Mm -hmm. you know? I, I knew some well-known artists who used to plead with me and says, can you just get her to talk to us? Wow, that's stardom <laughs> that though. That's like, that's what you call a superstar. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't see Madonna talking to everyone. Exactly. <laughs> How many times I've written to her, she has not even acknowledged. <laughs> Little she knows I'm Madonna here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's the thing. <laughs> Let's get into a break. On the other side, we have someone with a very interesting name. Um, he goes berserk on stage, I must say. Yeah. He has some very... Um, uh, significant facial expressions for every note he plays. And great moves as yeah. well. <laughs> and they have never stopped. I've known him for the longest time, uh, from the time I was on screen <coughs> doing musical shows. We'll speak more when we do come back. Hi, I'm Benji Anabahu, the leader of the band Aquarius. 
just formed it again and uh, I'm looking forward for the show because this is the first time I'm on a show, on this show. And this is going to be a good one because it's my first show with Danu and I'm looking forward to have a good chat with him and see what he has to ask me so that I could reply. I heard that he asked some crazy questions, I'm ready for it. And he's a nice guy. So I think he's going to ask good questions from me. Welcome back to the show and in conversation with Benji now. <laughs> Hi Benji. Good evening, Dano. Uh, thank you for joining me on the show. It's nice to be on your show, uh, so Dano. <laughs> yes. Benji has you all have you all have played, sung together, performed? Actually, I've <coughs> known Benji longer than I've known Sohan. I've known thank you, Benji. Thank you, Noeline. <laughs> thank you, Noeline. <laughs> That's no, why. <laughs> because, uh, you know, I was, a, well, I was a very young teenager when I met him because he used to play with my brother right. in, in the band called The Pioneers. Right. And uh, so he used to come to my place uh. as well and, you know. So yeah. that's how I met Benji. Akasakade. Yes. Akasakade, that's right. Oh, okay. In the 1960s. End of the 60s, but when I was there, it was somewhere around early 70s, 72. Okay, okay. Right. But I just feel that in the 70s and 80s, you all have had the best time. Yeah. yeah. I think so. Yes, that is right. It was real Seems fun. like you all have had more parties and more gatherings than we can ever think of today. Exactly. Right. Yes. Why? How? There was no COVID at that time. <laughs> Exactly, yes, that's right. <laughs> yeah, apart from the COVID, how, how was the scene back in the days? Like, people really dress up and come for these things, right? Yes, um. people used to dress up okay. and, and, and they used to dress well, you know. Right. And um, it, was, it was good to see the crowds because there were big crowds at where, whatever, uh, you know, venues we performed at. Mm. All and the nightclubs so are full, so many dancers, yeah. Yeah. pop concerts all over the world. And sometimes when I had the Kalabutu Gauss, I really tell you that we had to practically close the front entrance. Exactly, yes. Because we just couldn't take in more than 250 entrance, mm. back to the rafters, you know. So those, and people like today, they stay at home, sip a beer and watch a DVD. At that time, they had to come. They have to come they out to come enjoy. Out. Enjoy. Yeah. They yeah. wouldn't watch. I mean, there was no real TV to watch. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. Danu, when they had, remember Danu, when they had the curfew, they used to stay all night in all the hotel. Yeah. Yeah. And go in the morning. They used right through curfew, they stay and, and we the had dancers. Time with we had curfew party. dancers. Yeah. So tell me about this curfew. This was in the 70s. Yeah. 70s, yes. And right. again, off and on in the 80s yeah, also. Yeah. There was right. Suddenly they declare curfew. Everybody stays over. They come in before the curfew time. We keep playing the all night and the curfew is lifted around yeah. 5. Around 5.30, 6 only we go in the same kits and <laughs> people wonder where the but hell we have been. At, <coughs> at that time, they didn't serve breakfast, unlike yeah. now, yeah. because at the end of the dance, they always serve yeah. breakfast. And I look forward to the key back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so not anymore, not, not no. at that time. Yeah, not uh, then. So Benji, what made you enter music? Uh, actually, I used to be a soccer player, like football. Right. And then, yeah, in I school, we were Kelly and I were together, your brother. Yeah. So we were having good times, and that's how I got to know everything. Okay. So Han, of course, I met him when I went to went for a. He won that con uh, talent observer observer search. talent search. Mm -hmm. When that was, was that? that uh, early 1970. Yes. Wow, you were a young. Yeah. Young little bachelor at that time. Yeah, I'm still so young. Nice actually. <laughs> and little <laughs> and young is gone, but bachelor yeah, is there. Bachelor yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> Noelin, of course, we used to like, admire her sing, and once she got on. St I still remember that band, 007. The 007. Yes. That was the first band I sang. It was called the 007. God, you all took the bond band. off. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was with my two friends, that, that's uh, my brother in law, that's Donald Pires and uh, Tony De Silva, and then we formed a band. Mm. With Joey Lewis called the Amazing Grace. Okay. Mm. And from yeah. there on we took on and Super. did it. Well, we'll speak more, but right now it's time to put them in the seat a little bit. It's called Hot Seat. <laughs> All right, welcome back. So uh, we will start with Noeline. Okay? Good idea. Good. Yeah, ladies first. <laughs> Your favorite male vocalist during your time, Sohan, Maxi Rosairo, Desmond De Silva. 
Well, since Sohan is here, I don't know how I can say it. But That's Sohan okay. is always like he's he's there in, in my you know in the s in the in in my uh, but she had a but she had a preferences. Yeah. Uh -huh. But uh, well, I I've <laughs> sung with Maxi for quite a while earlier with the Spitfires, right? And uh, I think Maxi and Sohan they, they are almost close. <laughs> You are there, but you are not there. I'm there, but not there. Okay. <laughs> That's I a good it. one. Then. <laughs> yes. uh -huh. Okay, rank them in your preferred order. They're all compares. Arun Dias Bandar Naika, Faisal Bonzo, Clifford Richard. Arun, definitely. And then followed by? Um, Clifford, maybe. Okay. Your favorite female vocalist? Dalreen, Mariazel, Minon Fernando. You haven't listed my favorite there. Who? <laughs> Priyanti. Oh, oh wow. yeah. Oh, okay. Priyanti. That would have been. Yeah. yeah. Long years ago, I met Priyanti once when I was doing a music show, and that was the yeah. only time I met her. She was fabulous. All right. So, Priyanti, it is. I don't have her name here. So, Sohan, over to you now. Right. Now, this I'm asking only about vocals, okay, Sohan? Right. Your favorite female vocal. <laughs> okay. You can rank them as well. Dalreen, Minon, Noeline. Definitely Noeline first. Ah. Then Thank Dalreen, you, then go. Dalreen, and then Minon. Okay. In no spite particular of the fact order. That yeah. I didn't list him. Yeah. Thanks, so That's the love he has. Yeah, you know that. Yeah. Okay. Your favorite brothers in the industry, Pereira brothers or the Delano Row brothers? Uh, actually, it, it's a tie. Okay. <laughs> it's a tie. Yeah, you're not giving. Tie, okay. You all can't give such safe answers, okay? Right. The whole point is it's supposed to be hot seat. Exactly. If Sunil ever casts you in another music video, right. a different garment that you hope to remove? Will have to be my underwear. <laughs> 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 Do you know that he, he made a, a music video appearance recently? Oh, Kottamalli, yes. Kottamalli song. Yeah. Just like For Sunil, Brad yeah. Pitt running on the treadmill. Ah, okay. Just but I'll never hear the other I, I have to share with okay. you, right? But this is this this is a bit X-rated. Ah, that's fine. <laughs> it did uh, Sohan most of things. <laughs> yeah. Sohan, he held a bet with us that we did, did a show recently. Mm. And recently? He, well, very recently yeah. actually. Oh, and, like uh, <laughs> and then uh, he said that if if there's a collection of so many millions, yeah. he's going to run nude from Mount Lavinia Junction <laughs> to <laughs> Colombo. That's, that's if we make 75 million, you know. So <laughs> and you have you made it? <laughs> no, we no. didn't. So luckily, I, <laughs> <laughs> that's why he didn't run. That's why he's here. But I was ready to do it, you know. So <laughs> for for 75 million. Safety, because we might have paid bail money to get you out and right. lost the 75 million. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yes. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God we didn't make it. Thank God yeah. you didn't strip. I was a bit rather, rather disappointed also because oh. I couldn't do it. It's okay. We will have another version of this show one day. Right. With lights <laughs> off. <laughs> but then he brought a swimsuit into it when he found that, well, he you may might, lose. Yeah. But mm. of course, there was no, no way that Baby he would trance. lose. Yeah. There was no way. <laughs> anyway, that's fine. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. Benji, over to you. Yes. Your all-time favorite band, one from the 70s and one from the 80s. That band is no more. I like the Savage. They were playing mm. Raj Savages, yeah. and Savages. Who, who played in the Savage? Uh, Raj, Raj Ratna, Ellen uh, Raj Ratna, Calvin. Okay. He's no more here. And, and Dalvin uh, was also part of the band at once. Yes. Dalvin was, 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 was okay. Uh, that was one of my favorite bands. And of course, the Spitfires. Mm. Super. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, out of the song. This land belongs to you. Whose voice was your favorite? I only love to listen to the so uh, song because all my favorite singers were in it. Mm -hmm. So I couldn't. Real diplomat. Uh, uh, I, I yeah, couldn't point out diplomatic. on one person. And I really Rolled enjoyed. his sleeves and somehow said what he had to say and <laughs> moved on. <laughs> all right. Am I right? Yeah. Right, you're right. Okay. So now you have been in the band era for so long and you have yeah. seen today's. Uh, music world as well. Who is your personal favorite now in the industry? The thing is, uh, there is no work at these days or <coughs> to go out and see how they work or play. Now, on the uh, not the western, the single music side, like if I see ads, you see Marians playing here, there, Sunil, even the gypsies. Mm. I like them. They All entertain right. the crowd. Okay, so let's go back in time a little bit about now we have spoken about the music side to it. Back in the days, um, <coughs> although English was our third language, 
people embraced English a lot. They wanted to, you know, be a part of all the concerts and the shows. And right now, exactly. um, and like when you all used to perform, what type of songs were always requested? Mm. Actually, songs that went on the radio. Then. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's our only that's uh, means of media, yeah. you know. So. And yeah. you know, when we used to rehearse the songs, we used to have those spool tapes. Uh. And that's how, you know, the leader of the band would play that and song we, back yeah. and then, you know, get uh, and then we rehearse. They rehearsed like that. And also to get the words, the yeah, lyrics. lyrics. We didn't have it on mm -hmm. Facebook or we didn't Internet, have it yeah. on Yahoo or, you know. Uh, so we just had to listen uh, and write. Listen and write line by most line, of yes. the time. I remember someone, I must share yeah. this with you. Someone, uh, he, uh, he was getting the words of um, uh, an ABBA song. Yeah. Waterloo. Okay. Right? So this, this line, he said, uh, finally facing my Waterloo is the line on mm. it. He said, finally basing my Waterloo. <laughs> and I, 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 was, I was wondering what, what he meant by that. But he said, no, no, that, that's what, what they say on that. Well. Oh, <laughs> and sometimes you take line by line. I take the first line, yeah. the female vocalist listens to the second line, yeah. now that we take the, the, the song, song is yeah, yeah, you could stop, you, it's not because it'll go off so fast, yeah. I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah, now it makes sense because you know sometimes when we do hear a band singing, we don't understand what are those words. It's mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. all merged into one. Mm -hmm. exactly. Summer of 69. Oh, wow. oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you know that's like Summer of 69, right? Like, yeah. <laughs> really? And it all sounds just like one song. <laughs> Let's get into a break. We'll come back and speak more about the good old days right here on Day to Sunny. All right, in conversation with Noeline, Sohan and Benji on date with Danu right here on High TV. So uh, I want to speak a little bit about the 80s and 70s. They were tough years for us as Sri Lankans. We face a lot of things and mm -hmm. a lot of problems, but yet you all kept the positivity up and running. People wanted some entertainment. They'll always look to you. Uh, let's go back in time. Tell me, one, how was the situation and how did you all manage these two sides? The issues that were propping up in the country, and keeping the liveliness of the people. Stop we had it. to keep evolving and you know according to the situation so if there's curfew as I said we used to play through the curfew mm. Mm. and some days when you couldn't perform at all we had to stay at home and just wait till better times come so we had to find ways and means of surviving mm. and uh, you know evolving you know with the, t with the situation. Yeah, as you know I had two careers I still have yeah. two careers and three actually now but uh, as a television presenter I, uh, I remember very vividly, um, one day I was in the studio, I was presenting live news and you know that the studio door doesn't open when the live news is on. But the door opened and with the corner, I was on camera at that time, mm. with the corner of my eye, I could see about 20 people walking into the studio with guns. Gosh. Oh. And they just walked in and they stood on the sides of the wall. and. There was no communication with the producer because he couldn't communicate with me. And I was on live and I was presenting, you know, the introduction to whatever item it was. And then as soon as the introduction finished, the producer came online and he said, Nolin, don't worry. Uh, those guys have come in to guard the studio because there's been a bomb threat. So that nice. was even worse. <laughs> I, I was going to be blown yeah, like, I better worry about the gunman or I better worry yeah, about the bomb threat. Exactly. <laughs> and, uh, well, so the thing is, as I always, when I'm training my news presenters, yeah. I always yeah. tell them that they have to have nerves of steel. Yeah, because but you know, I don't want anyone to go through the things that you have gone through. Exactly. But uh, finally, they have said that the, the actual bomb there was Noeline. <laughs> I <laughs> knew this was, I so knew it was coming. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, the worst thing was, I was wondering, am I going to be blown up in the middle of the presentation yeah. and in front of so many millions yeah. of people? or? Am I going to get shot? Uh, so one of the two. But you know, God saw me through. And uh, the television those days, like, you know, when you work for the national television, you are seen by everyone in every nook yeah. and corner. Right. And sometimes they used to have community TVs where yes. one TV will be watched by many in that down the lane or in that yeah. little yeah. village. Yeah. And English News was the first, uh, you know, first program that they had okay. on TV. Eric Fernando was our first presenter, of mm. course, but then I joined him a little later. And uh, people used to watch TV even in Anuradhapura, Jaffna, all over the country. 
and farmers and all that. Mm. And I must tell you something. I, I hope I'm not taking. No, too much I just love these stories exactly. because for us it's because new. Uh, one day uh, when I had just joined television, uh, I cut my hair short. Mm. It was shorter than this. Right. It must have been about this length. Right. And I got it coloured. And when I went on screen, well, I was received, all mm. right. Mm. But then after that, they said they'd have to terminate my services because I had a short haircut and it was mm. coloured. Uh. And they said, what will the farmers in Anuradhapura say? <laughs> 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 then what did you do? So I, I, was, I was off, I was off camera for about uh, three weeks until my hair grew back and I recoloured my hair black. <laughs> These days you would have worn a wig, right? Yeah. <laughs> You could have just easily worn a wig, I think. Yeah. But back in the day, I don't think you can actually find one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Benji, you have always had very interesting hairdos. I still remember the first day I met Benji. He was in leather pants and like oh yeah, yeah, yeah like those like, days. Yeah, yeah, like like you know those studded belts and just shirt <laughs> popping off and chest showing and it was like yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> So uh, the this was the look back in the days. So if yeah. you do take Sohan mm. up to date, he keeps his going like. <laughs> <laughs> All the songs are like, <laughs> and this thirty first night, <laughs> night. <laughs> he has studied you well. So yeah, yes, yes, yeah. In all his, all his Facebook pictures are like. <laughs> so it's always interesting. Yeah. So tell me, Benji, this. It was better than showing off my chest. <laughs> you <know? laughs> when you were willing to run naked, I'm sure chest yeah, is not a problem. Exactly, yes. yeah. Not a problem at all. Yeah. <laughs> you, we have seen the first half. We just need to see the second half. Second first half. half trended across the country and the world. Yeah. So there was he has been completely viewed in 360 format. <laughs> <laughs> um, in, so tell me about this sense of style because I no, always feel back in the days we were so fashion forward with the limited access we had. Not everyone got a chance yes. to fly. You know, travels w were not so easy. How was it? Where did no, you buy these leather pants? No, really. Uh, at that time. I was with a person who used to design clothes. Oh and wow! Okay. So she used to do a lot of designing. For name, the band. name, name. Oh, Shamini Senyuratna. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, she used to do a lot of clothes. The time that uh, Latoya Jackson also came to yeah. Sri Lanka to uh. perform. She's the one who dressed him and undressed him. <laughs> right. Sorry, I did Girl, say something. Uh, <laughs> made me wear the clothes, <laughs> not undressing. Anyway, and also I used to like to be. A like active, active on stage and uh, mm. things like that. So did you know that you were good with the guitar when you wanted to get into form a band or uh, like I don't think a lot of people studied music. It was yes. just a love for music. Exactly. That's right. We used to love what we do and yeah. uh, like going to work was like going to uh, going for a game. All right, let's get into a break. We'll come back with more fun stories on the other side. Do stick around. It's safe to done. Welcome back to the show and right now it's time to put them into a bit of a sticky C2. So lots of things have changed with time. You all have made friends, you all have patched things up and let's go back in time. Something on the lines what Sohan spoke to me about. Uh, Nolene was unapproachable. <laughs> it was right. in every way. Which, yeah, in every way. I don't know what way you were trying. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing worked. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing worked. Um, so, how did how how did you make friends during that time? Uh, well, I, I'm someone who keeps to myself most okay. of the time. I'm a reserved person. Even uh, even if I have friends, I don't. I'm not so close. You're not the huggy huggy type. No, no. Okay. Definitely no way. Not. Right. So. Uh, <laughs> But now, I think I've, I've drawn closer to my friends now. Okay. And so, like, of course, I know, I will say the, the, the sweetness of being in the spotlight was experienced by all. Mm -hmm. I think you all had the best of it, you know, when people enjoyed and saw you all with no, uh, without losing concentration. Like, right now, when we go for a show, we want to take the phone out, we want to do video or like reply an SMS. It's, it's a lot of, uh, we tend to disregard the fact that there's somebody performing or speaking or like 
telling you something and you know you're, you're there for that moment we don't do that but at that time, people really believed every word that came out and exactly. enjoyed every note you're saying. And they concentrated on what you were doing. Exactly. So, was it that moment of fame that made you like not talk to? Is, was it that you were? Is it what people always say? Were you snobbish, or is it just that? No, you were just arrogance. Arrogance. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I suppose I was arrogant, but I don't know why because you know. <laughs> So I was spot on, right? I was spot on. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, uh, the thing is, I suppose, um, I'm, I'm sorry to say this, but I suppose because I had made a name for myself yeah. on television and I thought I was a big gun, mm. all wrong. Because mm. I know that it is only God who has given me all my achievements now. Earlier, I thought, well, I achieved everything on my own. Definitely not. And when did this realization happen? And when did you take? And also, it's it takes a lot. You know, what's what's more, what's greater about all of this? The fact that you speak about it, and that's amazing. That you are you are willing to put yourself in that simple place to say, you know, I was like this, and I've changed so much. Uh, when did it all change? When did you realize that you know there's a new me? Um, actually, uh, I suppose it was somewhere in 1998, mm. something like that. Uh, when I came to know the Lord Jesus Christ as my personal saviour and uh, from then on life was changing it didn't change overnight like it does for many people it was evolving little by little but now I just thank and praise him that everything is is wonderful now that's amazing so Sohan now it's your chance to ask for that date <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> never too late. <laughs> Things yeah. could actually might have worked out better if it was this. Situation. I know. My yeah. problem is I never had a Lord Jesus Christ or <laughs> Lord Buddha, anybody in my life. I am an atheist. Uh, uh, so yeah. I had nobody to depend on uh, except myself. So I was a very simple, easy going guy right. and had lots of friends. But you always friends. had like, you have always had the gift of the gap. Yes, I had. Yeah. So what happened was, then I realized these people are taking advantage of me. So I tried to become like Noeli and I have made a lot of enemies. <laughs> so I'm back again to being what I was. <laughs> now, knowing your brother, I'm asking this, he's right. a very reserved, very man of few words. Right. And how do you all get along? You are like the, I think you're the mischievous one out of the two. Right, mm. yeah. So Actually, he's my younger brother, but a lot of people think. Uh, oh, really? Uh, yeah, but he doesn't use hair dyes, so they think that he's <laughs> uh, my elder brother. Really. He's your younger brother? Yes. I would have never thought. You would have never well thought. Done. Neither do I, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, when you were in this whole entertainment industry, how was he like? Well, he was, as you say, a very quiet observer, but Has always. seen you perform a lot. Yeah, yeah, he was always been very uh, supportive. Right. Doesn't yeah. he live in Canada? No, this, that's my younger brother. This, yeah. He's talking of uh, oh, yeah. Bandula, yeah, my brother, brother, brother yeah. okay. Ashanti's father. Yeah. <laughs> but he's always been very supportive and I have any problem or if some thugs want to hit me or something, he said, don't worry, I am here <laughs> oh. anytime. That sort of thing. That doesn't happen very often, but <laughs> if it did, it's <laughs> good to have. He stays to next door. He stays thing. next door, so it's yeah. good to have support like that. Mm. True. Uh, Benji, today work is like tough yeah have you ever decided to like not work i'm just relaxed. no no decided to work more harder <coughs> so because now is the time we can practice and when it opens out then you could yeah but have you ever wanted to retire and just enjoy life and not have the long nights that's not, not you not yeah. i think all musicians are workaholics that's because your hair is still red so you better go mm. for it <laughs> and, and and they always say that musicians look young because of the music they play yeah so because they're know. always in the whole yeah, fun parts right. just the they don't get the age lines they get the laugh lines mm. <laughs> <laughs> let's get into a break on the other side we have more coming away right here on date with Zaman. so what's on their facebook did some digging it's time to take a look at it Welcome back to the show. So, how I know Noeline very well is because of this man. Oh, my son Ryan. <laughs> Ryan Haunter. Oh. He has got a lot of publicity these days on Raw Yes, that's yeah. right. Yeah. So, there you go, Ryan. Fire. Yeah, mm. there you go. So, I worked for Ryan for four years of my life. Actually, I remember he gave me a fabulous uh, 
uh, increment. <laughs> I, I actually asked him, so what am I to do with this? <laughs> oh. Yeah. yeah. He was, uh, he was a good boss. So uh, tell me, how old were you when you had no idea, uh, when you had uh, Ryan? No um, I was 25. Okay. And I, I actually got pregnant when I was in Dubai, uh, in uh, Damascus. Right, okay. I was okay. singing there. How was he as a kid? <laughs> oh, he was, he was a quiet guy, but he was very witty. He still is yes. very witty, as you know. He bullies the hell out of people. <laughs> <laughs> All of us have been bullied by him. This is such a fabulous picture, Noireen. I so love it. Oh. When was this? This, this was in Sohan? 2000. Uh, must have been about 70 years ago. <laughs> oh my god. In 2002 I'm just actually. Joking, right? 2002, I'm just, Sohan. 2002. Yes, yes. Yeah. This was the cover of my uh, CD. Oh my wow. CD. Not for nothing, they called her bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. You're so complimentary. <laughs> this is how he charms. Sohan, this gentleman, this man, I really miss. Mm. I'm all so miss sad that I didn't have him on date with Danu. Yes, mm. and we all miss him. Yeah. yeah At do. any show that we have, we always think, oh, my, I wish Ra uh, uh, Ronnie was here to bring in a little laughter, you yeah. know. Yeah. Yes. I miss one of the most simple Ramadan. people I know. Exactly, yes. he yeah. was. Such a humble man. Tell me about your relationship with Ronnie. Mine? Yeah. Uh, very straightforward. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> please. No, but I'm I was not wondering what you're getting at. Very straightforward. But, but uh, you know, really, um, he's been a wonderful guy and he, he will always compliment your show. And he'll come out of nowhere, he'll come on time and do his part. And uh, wherever I booked him, he has never failed to impress the people. Mm. And you know, when he, he goes up and, and money was never a problem for him. If you could pay him, fine. If you couldn't pay him or you had a, didn't have the budget, he'd say, no problem, I'll come and do it for you. That sort of a guy. And when he you, and you mean, do you remember the time we compared that carnival CD, he and yes, I? Yes, I remember, yes. Yeah, yes. It, was, it was real fun with yeah. working with he's, him. He, he's a fun guy. Such a great man. Oh. Oops. <laughs> Who is that handsome gentleman there? That's what I was trying to get at. <laughs> oh, yes. This, <laughs> this handsome gentleman, is this when you were... Is I get goosebumps when I see that. My okay. God. Uh, I hope it's just goosebumps and that's it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no other bumps. <laughs> <laughs> so, the, when was this? Uh, Noeline. Uh, now, you don't remember that. So you I don't remember. I, I'm still I in a daze, this you know. Was, uh, this was when we did a uh, CD together. Not right. a CD, it was a cassette. Two's company. company. Two's company was the name of the CD, okay. and uh, or rather the, mm. the cassette, and um, we had four songs on it, yeah. all duets. One of the songs she was, was bit too close for comfort. Yeah, and I'm sure it was very comfortable for you. Yes. And yeah. we also uh, had a calendar. Produced. Yes, that's right. So this one is flirting with you, and really on this show he's flirting with you. <laughs> 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 yes, I am just just poor Benji and I are just seated in the middle. <laughs> oh, <it's okay>. <laughs> 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 we are just is. moving on from this show. <laughs> this is at uh, Sin. Uh, this is at All Saints Borella. Mm. That's oh the only goodness. thing I can recognize out of this. Yeah. But you are here, and yes. I love your hairdo. Um, yes, I, I used to have different hair. Yeah. Yeah. And that's Kenny on my left, and next to me is my sister-in-law who is expired now, and and my brother Kelly. You know. Oh yeah. Sweet. Uh, that's amazing. I have, because I couldn't locate Benji, because uh, Sohan here spelled his name wrong for me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that's, oh, that's, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. Now, that's this nice. man is a fitness guru. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I'm one of the biggest advertisements for him. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yes. Biggest. Yeah, yes. This is still the before stage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah before. <laughs> There's never going to be an after. Tell me about your son, so. He, yeah. he was one he, at he, one time he was coaching the national yeah. team. Yes, now he's coaching the uh, national women's team okay. for Sri Lanka cricket. Yeah. Mm. Okay, brilliant. Uh, tell me about this. Mm. You are in it. Yes, this is with Apple Green. That's another ah, Apple, that's Green. Apple Green. Uh, you haven't heard of Apple Green? Good. No. Oh my goodness, they were <laughs> they were top of the pops here yeah, in yes. Sri Lanka. Yeah, oh really? In popular the, group, yeah. In the late eighties. Okay. So then I sat. They were they were all vegetarian. <laughs> 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 so uh, I sang with them. This was at a at a at an event in uh, Dubai or someplace mm. like that with them. But then I sang with them in Colombo as well at the Colombo 2000. Right, okay. And they are your cousins, right? Two of them, the Mendy's brothers? Mendy's brothers. Yes. Your cousins, right? They are my cousins. Okay. Um, you, were a men you were a Mendy's before Mendes, you became yeah. a haunter, right? Yes, I was yes. Mendy's. I love his hair here. Ah, that's it's with Rajita. <laughs> yeah. He's sure. 
Yeah, but your hair is doing its own number. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's just, yeah, I remember. Some yeah, members. Rajita is such a true entertainer. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah, what a voice. And this is another photo I found of you. Ah, with mm. Nishanta. Yeah, so these are like today's time of you performing yeah. even recently. Nishanta is a guy who does this Colombo by Jeep. Okay. Ah, ah yes, yeah, of yeah. course. And Noeline, this is such a stunning picture. Oh, yes, my grandchildren. I adore them. Oh. Uh, the, li the, the bigger girl is Sarah. Mm. And next to uh, her, next to me on, on my left is James. And the little one, Hannah. All Ryan's kids. Yeah, and they absolutely, they're all... They are Didn't Ryan have a daughter? Yeah. Ryan's daughter, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan's daughter. <laughs> so, um, apart from all these good times that you all have remembered during the time, uh, one sticky situ that I had to ask, I asked the same question, do you remember, from Dalreen. Was there a row between the Dalreen and the Noeline at that time? No. no. Actually, Dalreen is a very nice person, yes. so he couldn't possibly have a row. Really? Because Unless you've heard of a row. Yeah, yeah this is like gossip that I've heard now no, about back in the days. It's the only time over that guy, uh, that guy who looked like Brad Pitt, there was a little problem over that. Oh, oh God. The guy who looked like Brad, Brad Pitt. It's coming oh, back to Brad Pitt. Okay. this Pang Pitt. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, no, really, Dalreen is a there. very nice yeah. lady, yeah. and uh, I we've never had a row. No, okay, no way. because these are like little rumors that I was able to gather and see, like yeah. you know, whether it's actually true or not. We wanted to know because back in the days, we 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 used to hear such things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I used to watch Dalreen on the show. I used to love watching on the show because she had a very interesting way. Welcome. Today we are going to get into Lionel <laughs> 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 Dalreen actually, uh, I was a fan of Dalreen uh, uh, yeah. when I was in school. I mean, I was somewhere in my senior grade. Right. And I used to even cut my hair like that. Right. Because everyone, uh, a lot of people compared her to Cher. Right. Like, she had a little Cher look about yeah, her, yeah. like the whole hairdo. But of course, the good well, old days. She, she still is beautiful. Yeah, definitely. She calls me and says, Sohan? How were you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everything is very, very yeah. husky yeah. and very, yeah. 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 <laughs> That's amazing, though. But she's a very nice lady to work with. Definitely, yeah. very Definitely. easy. Yeah. Not like Noeline. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just got that. I, I had to say that. <laughs> Now you all did a show even recently. How did you all put? How did you all put it? They put presented it the show really. Huh? Well, the two of you, we were the co-hosts actually. Show, right, we okay. The host the really yeah. well, we get on. So yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah we, we on managed to get on. Yeah. And in fact, that show brought us even closer. Closer, yeah. Isn't yeah. It? But because we kept that 1.5 meter distance. Yeah, right, okay. <laughs> yeah. uh, for those who are watching today, tell me what, what should they treasure about the times that they get to be on stage to entertain people? They have to treasure, actually uh, most of our singers, there are lots of singers who are very good. They've got absolutely good voices, but their rapport with the audience is not enough and their presentation skills are not enough. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. If you look comfortable on stage and if you can connect with the audience, mm. yeah. they don't okay. care what you sing. That's exactly. true. The lyrics don't matter. matter. Yes. Yeah. Typical lyrics. example is Ronnie Leach. Actually doesn't really Tip matter. Typical I'm example is Ronnie Leach. Mm. It, it's not, f he's known not for his singing, but the way he could keep a crowd entertained. Yeah, and that captivating yeah. personality. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like, me, I mean, oh, sorry, I mean, like us. Captivating personality. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> he wanted to just say himself and yeah. later on yes. just I made it yeah, yeah. he, he, he brought it in because you introduced me. Ah, yes, 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 yes. And you said he was charming. Yeah, definitely. You are charming, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> um, well, on that note, we need to wrap things up. I've, I've been trying to get uh, Dalvin on the show, but this is that. She commutes so often to Australia and it was always very hard and now she's stuck here, which is great. <laughs> <laughs> you can get her. So I was able to get her on the show. Uh, so Han, thank you so very much for making a re-entry. You're, you're lots of fun. I'm sure if, if I was in, in your time zone, I think we would have hit it off as like good buddies. We could have just bullied everyone together. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but Sohan, it's, it's still not so late. Definitely. We just <laughs> right. have what, a five year gap? Right. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> in dog years. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on that note, we need to wrap things up. Benji, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Um, I just can't here. wait to see you all perform once again for us to all come and see these shows, mm -hmm. uh, learn from you all and, you know, have some good times. It's always nice to know how Sri Lanka was, you know, 
are the good old days, what my mom used to always say. Mm -hmm. oh. So absolutely fun having you all guys on the show. Thank you so very much. Thank and uh, it was an honor having all of you. It was great Thank being you. with you. And it was an honor, actually. Oh. And very, very pleasant. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. On that note, we'll wrap things up on the show. We'll see you with another cool episode to date with Don. Until then, you keep smiling.